The Taiwanese brand Kimco is firmly set on delivering the production version of an electric sports naked motorcycle by 2021, and by the looks of the newly revealed Revo NEX, they are on the right track. Though still vague in terms of specifications, this e-bike is bringing to the roads a six-speed transmission, which is tasked to give the rider better connection with the motor. An automatic mode is available, but if properly controlled manually, truly dynamic performance is guaranteed. Zero to 60 time is estimated at 3.9 seconds, and the top speed mark is set at 127 miles per hour. This two-wheeler gets premium components, the likes of Kimco Full Engagement Performance Suite, Brembo Brakes, Performance Suspension, and TFT Dash. The flat two-cylinder box engine and BMW have a very long-lasting history together, which is cherished both by the developers and riders of the German bikes. To commemorate this unique synergy, the Electric Vision DC Roadster was built, and it showcases that when the time eventually comes to transition to electric propulsion, the newly developed models will keep the spirit of the iconic designs. The battery is placed at the center of the frame and is styled to resemble the internal combustion engine. The cooling elements are exposed to the airflow to cool the battery, plus some of them are able to move outward at higher speeds. No info is yet available about the EV specs, but they should definitely be rad. For half a decade now, Honda has been utilizing an opportunity to present startling new concepts at the Milan Motorcycle Show. In 2019, they are bringing a crossover model, CB4X, that combines features of a futuristic adventure bike and a sports tourer. That can also be a great companion for everyday commuting. This Honda is motivated by an inline four-cylinder engine with downdraft fuel injectors and a pair of SC Project mufflers. As expected, this exhibit piece gets the most advanced components like radially mounted Brembo brake calipers, performance suspension, Pirelli Rosso Corsa 2 tires on 17-inch wheels, and many others. Recently rebranded as the Verge TS, this is the first electric bike from the Finland-based company that has been unveiled in its production-ready form at the 2019 Motorcycle Fair in Helsinki. The innovative model is best described as a cross between a sporty cruiser and a futuristic roadster. It features a new rim motor design and has a battery good for between 125 and 185 miles of riding. The fast charging is also there. Like many other e-bikes, the TS motorcycle demonstrates great acceleration and, thanks to the installed 107 horsepower electric motor, it gets to 60 under 4 seconds and tops off at 112 miles per hour.
the first Heritage Concept R18 was presented by BMW at the Lake Como in Italy and it demonstrated a Heritage model built around a large boxer engine. Half a year later in Milan, the Slash 2 variation of the Cruiser was revealed, showcasing the stylistic opposition to the original, being more modern and performance focused. This muscle bike is powered by a 1800cc two-cylinder boxer with contemporary air and oil cooling. Riding on the prominent wheels, 19 inches at the front and 16 inches at the rear, it has powerful presence on the road, plus such features as heavy-duty Brembo brakes and Hatech stainless steel tailpipe system highlight BMW's close attention to details. At this year's motorcycle show in Milan, the company surprised us with a near-production adventure touring concept that it has been developing in secret for the past year or so. The new Norden 901 seems to be based on the 790 Adventure R from Husky's parent company KTM. It gets the same WP suspension and 21-inch front and 18-inch rear wheels. However, the design of the model looks much more appealing thanks to its vintage-looking round headlight, rally-inspired silhouette, and simple but robust windshield. At the bike's heart sits the all-new 890cc parallel twin engine that also powers the newly revealed KTM 890. Working in cooperation with the iconic British motorcycle manufacturer, Broth Superior, Ashton unveiled the AMB001, a turbocharged, strictly limited edition, track-only hyperbike. It is powered by the mighty 997cc 8-valve 88-degree V-twin, which is water and air-cooled and controlled via a 6-speed manual gearbox with APTC clutch. Additionally, it gets an exclusive turbo supercharger to deliver 180 horses to the rear wheel. Notably, the variable geometry turbine has low inertia and blows through the intercooler to avoid the turbo lag that prevented the models of the 1980s to fully shine. The dry weight of the bike equals to a mere 396 pounds dry, since both the chassis and the body are comprised of carbon fiber and titanium elements. The idea behind this concept was to demonstrate the future design direction of BMW in the mid-range segment as well as highlight the versatility that their platform can provide. The Nove Cento is an epitome of an all-rounder, combining the features of a roadster, a sports tourer, and even a superbike. It was not officially confirmed, but the 2020 S1000 XR model seems to be inspired by this bike, so chances are that both are powered by a newly developed 999cc water-cooled inline-4 that makes highly competitive 165 horses at 11,000 RPM.
Developed by the innovation arm of the 3D printer manufacturer Big Rep, the Nera is the first fully 3D printed motorcycle in the world. The company claims that all of Nera's components, except for the electrical parts, are printed. Thanks to using this approach during design and production stage, the model gets such exclusive features as embedded electronics, airless tires, and forkless steering. This motorcycle concept is also a battery electric vehicle, but thanks to its construction, it is exceptionally lightweight, tipping the scales at 132 pounds. 